Yep, I've seen this effect on a few different videos. <laughs> Lil John, turn down for what? When you see a hit or a stomp or a fall, there are effects you can use to really emphasize this move. So a zoom, an earthquake effect, keyframe. So let's dive in and show you how to do this. Step one. Start with a slow down clip, preferably, but you can do this with a normal speed clip. Find the point of impact, split the clip twice, press shift B, then after the impact, press shift B as well. I'm gonna speed that up times four so that the punch rushes into the face. Step two, keyframe either side of the speed ramp scale and position. So there you go, you just wanna to toggle the scale and then move a couple of keyframes, one, two, three, four, into the clip and just zoom as you would please and position it as well as you would please. You just zoom into the action at the point of impact to emphasize the devastation. Step three, go to the effects bar and add the earthquake effect. So grab your earthquake effect, push it onto the uh, clip in the timeline and you wanna keyframe the amount again where the impact happens. So you press your keyframe button, move a couple of frames in, maybe six, and then increase the amount of earthquake you're going to have. Step four, repeat these steps on all of the impact points. So when the impact happens, you want there to be a zoom, to be an earthquake, and there to be an uh, increase in speed and then back to slow motion. This is all for emphasis. And then decrease it after the action has happened. So it could be immediately after the action has happened, or maybe give it a second uh, or half a second. So give it 12 frames or 24 frames. So there you have it. That's it for now. Hope you liked it. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I'm a exit, bro. Yes.